Now, I'll tell you something. I saw this uh, movie last night. Uh -huh. w what a lot of work. I just kept thinking, who has the energy to be in a movie like this? I don't know. I was actually worried about it. I actually asked to be put in the hotel across the street from where all the rest of the kids were staying because those kids can party. Mm. And I'm, you know, you, you, I'm in the movie a lot. Yeah, so. you are. Well, and so is everybody. But I mean, there's, there's acting and then there's singing. singing. And, and, and so and the question, yeah, and dancing. Hmm. But now, is it you singing? Do we hear your voice? Yeah, yeah, I'm singing and dancing and mm -hmm. doing all of it. Well, you do a all great job. I mean, congratulations. <laughs> How long you. did it take to film it? Oh, uh, uh, like two months or something. Yeah, but it was yeah. nonstop, long days singing and dancing and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, And was. under other circumstances, I bet it was. But this must have been grueling. Are you all right? I'm okay. okay. I feel okay. Good. You, you look good. Thanks. Yeah. And uh, Thanks. now, I think the last time we saw you, you had been in the uh, George yeah. Clooney movie. Yeah, the last time I was here was actually the first, this was the first talk show I was ever, mm. ever on. Ever the last on, time, ever Yeah. Wow. There was, I was, um, I was backstage and I can remember it was one of the, you know, I remember being the most nervous or like the second or third most nervous I've ever been, mm. ever in my life. And, um, you know, trying to, trying to be like, you know, look poised and be a lady and stuff and you being backstage fine, and like, and I remember like being so nervous and kind of just standing there and, you know, like the fear rising in me and one of your crew members came up to me and was like, sweetie, you okay? Uh, and, um, and I was like, yeah, 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 no, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> and, um, but I could see, like, in his eyes, I could see the wheels turning, like, is this girl a flight risk? Uh -huh. And at what point do I go get somebody yeah. and tell them, like, we need to get the dancing dog back on because this girl is going to pass out. I remember the dancing dog, but, so, you know, that guy may not be with the show that you're talking about. <laughs> it's just, uh, just a concern. Now, when, when you went to the Academy Awards, you're nominated yeah. for the uh, role in, uh, up, up in the air. What was that like? I mean, my Super God. Scary. Super scary. But fun, exhilarating. No, huh? lots, I mean, whew, it was a lot of fun, but it was so stressful and I was so terrified, um, you know, which was, which was weird. I felt like, like ungrateful or something. I just felt like uh, I shouldn't be this stressed out. I was like, I was like, felt like I was always going to break out in hives and, mm. and Did then you, like on top of it, there are all, Have you broken out in hives? Uh, not yet. I managed to suppress that. Um, but like journalists would always be saying like, aren't you, having, aren't you having the best time? Isn't mm -hmm. this the time of your life? And I would, you know, logically I knew that I was, but my body was telling me like that right. things were getting crazy well, and I was like losing my see, hair. Here's, here's the interesting part about this. It's show business and what you were doing there was m more business than show. Uh, so people don't Steve, under, Dave. thank you. Uh, what people don't understand, it's, uh, it's not just gig to gig. It's a 365-day-a-year commitment because people are always going to follow you and expect something from you. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was pretty stressed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People, you know, and, and then on top of it, you're kind of getting put in these dresses and people are asking you, like, what are you wearing? And yeah. I just want to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. Did you, did you take your family to the Academy Yeah, I Awards? took my mom. That's which very was, sweet. Which now, was how, great. How was that mom? was great because I did get to kind of experience it through her eyes and she made me feel like, less like a jaded old chorus girl and made it feel like, you know. I felt really that wonderful. way all my life. <laughs> <laughs> jaded old chorus girl. Finally, someone understands me. I feel you. I get you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, th th this movie, Pitch Perfect, uh, it's based on a, a book, a guy uh, I didn't know this existed. Yeah. Tell people what, well, what we're the... Well, it's about, it's sort of set in the world of collegiate, competitive collegiate acapella. It's gotten to be a huge... Which is a thing. ...thing, yeah. Yeah, um, it's not like barbershop, quart barbershop quartet acapella. It's like uh, one person is singing the lead vocal and then everyone else mm -hmm. is, you know, the band, but yeah. they're just using it's their voices. Show. Yeah, I've actually, I went um, to a competition like this. Uh, I got dragged by... Uh, a friend of mine had a crush on a guy who was in one of these groups, and I got dragged to this competition, and I thought it was going to be like the most excruciating night of my life. Right. And by the end of it, because I am a huge dork, um, I was like on my feet, and I wanted to meet them, and I was like starstruck by them. Really? So it was. So, so it was it's, a weird. It so really that to is... me was inherently funny, like when I read the script. Yeah. That within this inc like aggressively nerdy subculture, there are gods. Uh -huh. Because that's, come on, these are not accomplishments. Now, I'll tell you, the, uh, the, uh, the moment in the show that I uh, was really, I thought, oh, my God, that's tremendous commitment is the deal you do when you accompany yourself singing with the cups. Uh, a cappella with a cup. Yeah. And I thought, well, how, what, who? <laughs> I saw, I just knew how to do that. I saw 
this viral video on Reddit and it's just this girl doing this thing with the cups and again, because I'm a huge loser, I thought uh, the best way to spend an entire afternoon would be like watching this video 50 times and teaching myself how to do it. And so when they found out that I could do it, they, they wanted me to do it in the movie. Now, I let the first one go, but now I'm beginning to wonder about uh, whether or not you have some self-esteem issues. <laughs> Is no, this? but I just, I just, you know, been nominated for an Academy Award in okay. big motion pictures. Okay. You know, George Clooney. I'm, uh, I'm really a loser. Great. I'm a dork. I'm beginning to think. Uh, I'm amazing. Know. Yeah, you are. Okay. All right. So here now, here was this is okay. from our uh, staff drug test. So if you can uh, <laughs> show people how you, it's not at all. Um. Yeah. So this is. Um, do, do you need anything? You don't need anything, do you? Uh, no, I guess not. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Is it too so, hard to do now? No, 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 I can do it. I can do it. I think. I hope. You're right here. Okay. I got my ticket for the long way round. Two bottle of whiskey for the way. And I sure would like some sweet company. And I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say? When I'm gone. When I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair. You're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're sure gonna miss me when I'm gone. What a chump. <laughs> <laughs> that's remarkable. <laughs> now that in the movie, that's gotta be the show stopper, don't you think? I I don't I don't know. That was a, Paul, have you I ever seen that anything like that? No, movie? I'm just nervous right love now. That, that was, was tremendous. So oh, and thank good you. for you. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I'll teach you after now, if I you want. I want it. Yeah, okay. spent long hours learning. This this is why you go see the movie right there. Yeah, that's Anna why. Kendrick, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you again. So